Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will see some more tests examples in rest assured. In the last session, we started creating the first test. If I go to my Eclipse, this is the project we created in our last session. And if I go to SRC test Java folder and I go to tests, we created this class tests examples. And here, this is the test we created and we started with our rest assured test creation. Now, if I go to the rest assured website, which is restassured.io, and if I go to the documentation and go to the usage guide here, here we have some more examples, and here you can see there are some more examples how you can use rest assured for testing of rest web services. And here in this example, we have this statements where we have we are directly using the get and then saying then and dot bare body and doing the assertions so how do we do this if you check here here it is saying that we can do a static import of these libraries so let us do that if you see here in our imports so this is the same class that we created in our last session and here i can import rest assured class in a static way so i can say here import static and i will say rest assured dot star so that means import everything under this class and as soon as i do this you can see here i am getting an error so this is because we no longer require this rest assured now i can directly say get and this will work fine I can now also create a new test and create an example like we have seen in the on the website. So I will say public void. I will say this is test two, and I will also give the annotation at test, and this should be the test ng annotation here. And now I can say I can directly say given. And if I press control spacebar on my keyboard, you can see we are getting the option of this given function from rest assured. So I will say given dot get and I can get the URL. So this is the URL. I am just going to use the same URL here that we have used in the last session. So this is the API endpoint or the API URL and also i can uh, use the base uri i can say base uri and if i press control spacebar you can see this is also coming from rest assured class so i can say here i can say here base uri equals to this and then inside get I will give the rest of the endpoint so I can do like this and then I can say dot then and I will check the status code is 200 so you can see in a single line I am saying given when I do a get on this URI then status code should be 200 let me check this I will do a right click and say run as test ng test and let us see the output so now we are running two tests and if i check the results you can see test 2 is passed test 1 has failed because we had done the changes in the status code so let me also correct this in the last session we had made this 201 so this is working fine and we are able to run this now i can also put this in a in different lines for easy readability so I can say like this this is fine so I can also do like this given when I do a get on this URI then status code should be this so this will also work fine if I run this and let me check the result of test ng and this is all working fine so I can also now say I can also check other details in the response for example i can say body 
and here I can check so if I look at the examples here you can see here it is using dot body and giving some particular JSON path or some particular path and checking that the value at that particular path is equal to this now if I look at my example of the API which I have taken from reqres.in and if I go to the API request I have used this get request if I go here so this is the response and let us say I want to check uh, this particular ID is 8 so if I have to check this I have to get the JSON path and to get the JSON path I can say so this is data this is the data array and inside the data array we have multiple IDs and this ID is, a, is at index position 0 and this ID is at index position 8 so I can use this JSON path I can say here data dot id and i want to check id at index position 1 and then i will say as per the documentation i will say equal to 5 or whatever is the value here this is 8 so i will say equal to 8 so i will say equal to 8 now also just in case you have a complex JSON you can use some tools to find the JSON path for example there is a tool called JSON Pathfinder you can check here so if I go to JSON Pathfinder and here if I go to this website jsonpathfinder.com here I can provide my JSON response and then get the path of a particular element so let me just copy this JSON response and I will paste it here and also if I see here you can see it is showing me all the response and if I go here and click on this ID 8 it is showing me the JSON path so this is this is how I should use it so let me just change my values here I should use it like this data and index position 1 dot id and there is also a chrome extension for json pathfinder if you go to your chrome and go to the web store and here if you search for json pathfinder you can get a chrome plugin or a chrome extension and you can get the json path with this extension as well so let me show you this is the json pathfinder extension and here you can add it to your chrome in my case it is already added and i will just show you so here you will have this extension So let me quickly check where is my extension. So here I will remove from Chrome and I will add to Chrome again. I will say add extension and once this is added I will show you how you can use it and yes it is here so this is the extension I can just go now here and I can do the same thing I can copy the response here so let me just copy this JSON response here and then or I can copy from here so that I get a proper JSON response and then in the search node I will say ID and say submit 
and once I do a submit you can see I am getting all the locations or all the JSON path where I have ID and I can get the JSON path from here so I need this one I am getting the JSON path from here and now I am saying equal to 8 and there is a error here so uh, we need to add few more imports and if you see in the on the website of rest assured usage page we also have these imports these are the matches so let me also add them in the imports and I will do a static import so I will say import static and this one as well as the second import I'm going to do it in a static way and a semicolon at the end so now if I see there are no errors and I can now run and check so I will run this again and you can see this is pass if I check the results everything is pass just in case I change it to 5 let us see this should fail now I will run this again and here you can see test 2 has failed and if we see the reason it says here it did not match expected was 5 but actual was 8 so therefore it failed so our test is working fine and in case you want to uh, log the response you can also say dot log dot all so this will also log the response and let me put it in a separate line and if I run this and I will change it back to 8 and I will run this again this time we should all also have the complete response on the console so if I check the console you can see we have also got the complete response printed here so you can also use the log all here so this is how you can create some more tests and I will uh, say that you should do some more uh, you should run some more examples yourself you can take any api you can take apis from req res website this one or you can also use any other apis and run some examples and try some more examples we will see some more advanced tests in the coming session and i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching